So it's uh, about time that I throw the rails on, on the uh, uh, rail extension, well not rail extension because it's just new rails, longer rails. Uh, they're 129s, um, also got the track over there. So while I do this, I'm going to try out something new here. I uh, got my GoPro, which is hooked on to this little head thing. I'm going to put it on so I can get some videos of doing it and trying to explain uh, what I'm doing. So if somebody else decides that they want to do this by throwing uh, longer rails on, uh, they can watch this and say, oh, this is what not to do, and then go from there. Um, yeah, because I don't know what I'm doing. So hopefully by doing this, I'll figure it out. And, uh, you know, I guess people can get pointed in the right dire direction on if they want to do it, uh, do it themselves. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to throw that on and uh, start taking this bad boy apart and then uh, yeah once I get the skid out then I can really uh, that's when the I guess the real video is gonna start but uh, yeah skid shouldn't take that long should take a couple minutes and then uh, we'll go from there all right so starting off here getting the skid out uh, started off by loosening off the back bogey wheels right um, I already did that so I don't really need to pretend to show you and uh, now we're just gonna loosen off this guy, loosen this guy off, take a little tension off the track so that when you're trying to get the, uh, when you're getting the um, uh, skid out, there's not as much. Not as much, um, uh, you know, tension holding it in there. So, as you can see, it's a lot, uh, a lot more slack there. So, once that part's done, in comes the uh, the really fun part, which. You know, isn't too bad. Let's see if I can get down here and um, get a better get a better view of what we're looking at here. So, um, up until this point, by the way, I don't know if uh, you've seen you've seen um, uh, anything because it was on my head with this little uh, helmet or head uh, holder. So we'll see what's going on after I start editing this. But um, anyways, now we're gonna loosen off this guy in the back. And there's also one on the other side. Um, so, you know, two. Uh, they don't go through, it's not one uh, bolt like all the way through with one bolt on one side and not on the other side. It's two separate ones. Um, I can't really say um, how many sleds are like that. Um, I guess they're all kind of different, but I don't really know how different. There you go. I loosen them off just enough so that when I do this next part, um, it'll be a little easier to do. So um, what I do now is I get these benches out of the way. Off that wheel. Bring the front end over as much as I can. Get it off these wheels. And then, I never actually did it here, so I'm hoping I can have enough room. So what I do is I just go like this. Pick this 
whole thing up. Try not to drop it. Realize that this is kind of loose. Anyways, that's that's another thing. Um, and then realize how heavy this thing is every time I try to bring it down. And then I usually rest that on there so I can kind of move it if I need to. And then now it's sideways. I can take these bolts off all the way without the whole sled dropping or the whole uh, back end dropping down. And then I can just pull the skid out, lift it out, and uh, you know, make it uh, make it a lot easier. And continue with this on it. I took it off, or when I put it back on, I guess would be the right word. And grease. <laughs> um, so yeah, instead of getting my hands all silver. Now, I just need to get under there, get the last one out, and then uh, we'll be back. So, I um, had a little bit of trouble with this one. I had to flip it onto this side. Um, but, and as you can see, there's an impact. I kind of had to give her a little, little ugga dugga just to kind of get it off a bit. But, we're loosening it up now. And uh, we're making good progress here. So when I take this out and I pull it out, there's going to be a bar in the middle and there's going to be two, um, I don't know what to call them, little brown things. I'll, sh I'll pull them out and I'll, I'll, we'll look at them. There. Oh, there we go. Wasn't loosed off enough. Wasn't loosened off enough, but I thought it was. Um, so we're going to put this on here. Put it over here. Now, also, on a regular sled, um, these bolts here, I don't know if you can see that, but these ones right here, um, go across on this top bracket here. Now, on this sled, on the RSs, you don't need to take that out. It's just one that's just a solid bar, and there's kind of like clips, or uh, little slots, I guess that it slides in, that this bar slides onto, and that's what holds it. So that it's a lot easier to take the skid in and out without having to take that bar out, which is pretty convenient. So uh, I'll show you what I mean here. Let me pull this out. This is one of those uh, things I was talking about. And this is another one of them. There's also a bar here. I don't know if I can if I can there you go. It's also this bar. Here on this sled, this is what I kinda like about this thing. It is very easy to get this skid in and out, I find. Um, I've done it a couple times too, so that probably helps. But even without that bar, it's uh, pretty easy. So you end up getting it out, and uh, usually it should not fit that slide back in. So you get in like that. You gotta get it up. Get off the wheel on the back here. And then boom, it's out. Now, I have a phone in the way. Now that's that. So that's out. Um, this is still in here. Now this is the bar I was just kind of talking about earlier. You can see it um, in here. So that's solid, that's bolted in. You can take it out. I'm gonna have to take it out uh, 
later when I do the track, obviously. So, uh, yeah, that's, but that's coming a little bit later. I'm not really at that point yet. I gotta, gotta figure out how to get the rails on here first. So yeah, these are those brackets where that, that bar sits into and then it'll just pivot in here. So you gotta, you know, you gotta throw some grease in there, which and there's not really any there right now, but you should grease those up and uh, make sure that's all good to go. We take one of these bad boys. Now we should be able to see. It's honestly, it's pretty much the exact same, exact same thing, but this part's longer from like this bolt line up these bolts line up. The only thing that doesn't line up is this arm, which is where I'll have to extend it. I'm just going to start uh, taking things apart. I took some pictures so I can remember where everything went. Um, got a little bit of cobwebs in there from sitting all summer. Um, yeah, I'm just going to start, I'm just going to start taking things apart and uh, seeing what happens, I guess. Fingers crossed uh, everything works out. Because, you know, if I made more and everyone's just kind of like, these are stupid, I don't want to watch these, then, you know, obviously there's no point in me, in me making them. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, I have fun. I have fun making them. i uh, pretty much just standing here talking to myself someone to, was to walk in, they'd probably think I was crazy, but especially with this uh, friggin' GoPro mount on my head. But uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how the videos look like either until I'm gonna edit this. So I really hope the sound is good and um, the video angle and everything, you can see everything and you guys understand um, understand what I'm doing. So I'm going to start taking a little bit more of this stuff apart. Uh, just the basic stuff like the bogey wheels, this, inf this reinforcement uh, bracket here, uh, the back stuff. When I get some of the bigger stuff, I'll throw the camera back on. And um, yeah, I guess you guys will uh, be here for that part. So. I've uh, loosened all the bolts off on this side. I didn't take them out yet, so I don't have a bunch of bolts uh, lying all over the place. Um, now I'm going to work on the uh, bracket for these springs. Now I've never taken them off, so I'm not really sure how to do it. But I'm just going to loosen off this bolt. Um, the tension in this bad boy should hold it, and then I'm just going to, you know, get in there. Uh, because you can, it's on, it's on the small set, it's the lowest setting here. So I can get in there and, you know, pull it up a little bit. So when I pull it up, I should be able to drop that bolt out and then I can just let it down and, uh, you know, hopefully that'll be good. Now, um, I'm not really sure how this is going to work. I'm hoping that when I lift up on this, it this bolt's just gonna fall out. So let's see here. Okay, so that's out now. And there it is. Someone's off. That was, I don't know, it's fairly easy. I need a bigger table. You guys should watch all my videos and buy a t-shirt so that I can buy a bigger table to do all this stuff on. I'm aware that this is probably all a lot easier if if you do it uh, with everything else loose because you know that would that would make sense. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, if you know that, why don't you just loosen everything off? And that's because I didn't.
Mind you. See? How hard was that? Easy. Easy peasy. So we're going to take this. And I'm going to size it up. So that should go there. It should go in there and that should go in there. Okay, so I'm going <clears> to... <throat> And just like that, just like that, I've got a long track. Long track. It's still longer. Now I'm this far into this. And it's, you know, mid-October. Now I really want to go sledding. So far, it's working good. So I should... be able to <laughs> that didn't work out as smoothly as I thought it was gonna but yeah hmm. it's probably not very good I wonder where this went somewhere that has a lot of oil like probably back there yeah definitely back here what goes back here over here. So this goes on here. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, a couple parts on this I'm just going to take off in a second. Um, here's another project, this little Everest over here. That's, a, that's another video, eventually. Time to get this rail into place. And go down to there. It's gonna go down to there. It's gonna go there. Oh boy, this is coming together. Like this. Um, if you're thinking that you want to swap your rails and you're not really sure if you should or how to do it, I'd suggest that you do because it's pretty easy. I gotta say. It's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So if you guys do want to see more of these, um, you should let me know what you guys liked about it, what you guys didn't like about it, and what I can do to um, make it better or uh, funner, not as boring. Uh, maybe you guys want it more boring. I don't know. You probably don't, but you never know. I don't know what people are into. So uh, I got the skid partially back together. Um, there's still, hold on a second here. There's still, um, I need to extend this arm a little bit. And uh, I found out that I need, need to extend these springs a little bit. Um, Cause they don't reach the, uh, the holes. But, um, yeah, I mean, the arm, I don't think, should be too bad to extend. I'm not really sure, though. Uh, I'm just going to find out. Um, and, yeah, so there's also these uh, um, braces that should go on the side, but they don't line, the holes don't line up, so I'm going to have to go inside and see if they make different ones for the, uh, for the 129. And, um... Uh, yeah, from uh, from there, I guess I'm gonna go and uh, change the track, and uh, yeah, hopefully that uh, that does a trick, and uh, yeah, hopefully it fits, <laughs> everything lines up, and everything's good. But uh, yeah, so from my standpoint, changing rails, pretty easy. I thought it was gonna be a little harder, but it's not that bad. It's uh. Yeah, it's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But uh, I'm going to come back out here tomorrow and 
if I can get someone to extend my arms, because I don't know how to weld, then I'm gonna do that. If I can't, might have a problem. But I'm hoping that I should be able to get this, and then, uh, yeah. I guess we'll see what happens.